Hey everybody, it's the week 24 pregnancy vlog. This week the baby is the size of an ear of corn. Oh my goodness. And uh, Hilda's uterus should be the size of a soccer ball. Feels like a watermelon. Oh boy. It's huge. <laughs> Emily's got a baby strapped on her belly. Scoot up and show. This is Lauren. Who is it? Lauren. Lauren. I had to strap her are you on. Pregnant with the baby, or are you just carrying the baby? Like carrying that? a baby. <laughs> okay, we probably won't use ropes to carry our real baby, but. No, I hope not. <laughs> so the baby has lungs that are developed enough now that if it was born, it could probably survive in the neonatal unit. Good. So that's good to know. Yeah, it's kind of a relief to get past that point, right? <laughs> yep. Yeah, and it's developing its facial features. Mm -hmm. And Hilda's belly button should be starting to pop out. But the top kind of looks like it is. All right. So it's been a beautiful week this week. And Hilda and Zoe got over their sickness. So Yay. they've been feeling better. I got my voice back. Everything to be, seems to be A-OK. -okay. But Emily has a stuffy nose. <laughs> she doesn't seem sick, though. Yeah. So. Might be um, just allergies. Yep. So what's been going on with the baby and your symptoms? I would say the baby's moving a lot more. I feel like, you know, I'll be laying down to, like, go to bed, and the baby's just, like, waking up and having a little party in my belly, and... I'm like, okay, this is kind of hard to sleep right now because the baby's so active, but um, I, I think it's a good sign that the baby's so active, too. Another um, symptom I've been having is, like, I don't know if you want to call it eczema or pregnancy acne or whatever you want to call it, but just kind of like the red glow face. It's not real pretty, but um, my friend noticed, I don't know, two weeks ago, so I bought that um, Aveeno cream uh, for eczema and the pharmacist said it was perfectly safe to use and I used it and sure enough my face looked lovely for about a week and I was like oh I'm cured so I stopped taking it and then all of a sudden it happened all over again so I'm in the process of using it twice a day and just um, trying to get it all under control and then I'll keep managing it and continuing it and hopefully it'll all look better soon. <laughs> I've been like super active so I've been sleeping really well at night. I don't know if you could call that a symptom but Mike was saying like I just fall asleep immediately and I sleep for about six hours and it's just nice to get that solid chunk of sleep and it's super heavy and apparently I'm snoring like a bear. The snoring is out of control. It's... <laughs> The deepest, loudest, <laughs> most constant snore you can ever think of. It's uh, yeah. it makes it so hard to sleep. Sometimes Mike wakes me up. Hilda, are you okay? It sounds so bad. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I'm fine. I'm just exhausted. I think these days that are sunny, then I want to work real hard in the garden. But then I'm like super tired at night. But I get a lot done during the day now. And... Which is nice, um, but I do take some naps too if I. You want to show us your baby? Tired. Okay. Oh, Zoe's got a baby. A baby from a couple a long time ago. What's your <laughs> baby's name? Um, Ollie. Oh. Ollie. Yeah. Ollie. All right, baby Ollie. You don't carry it around with a rope. Okay, I'm the um. I need to tie this around me. Can you tie it around me? Stand back. Stand back. Back here. <laughs> okay, right, so he's got her baby. All tied. Yeah, I think the kids uh, were pretty much done with their baby dolls until I got pregnant, and now they want to play baby dolls again and kind of pretend like they have their own babies, which is probably good to get them thinking about, you know, how to take care of babies and all that good stuff. So I think. Learn how to tie them around. Your yep. waist with rope. <laughs> Something they'll really need to know. Yep. <laughs> All right, anything else? No. Heartburn? No. Anything like well, that? I had a little heartburn, but 
Do the aches or pains. All that gardening I did resulted the next morning my calf muscle in my left leg was super sore to the point where I like, I don't know, when I pressed down to walk, it felt like when you get a Charlie horse and then the Charlie horse is gone, but then you just have that constant like pain. Yeah, that was my leg from all my bending and moving and gardening. So yeah, I don't know, I think it's just getting my body back into the garden swing of things too. It takes a little bit to get back into it, so I think that's part of what's happening right now. <laughs> All right, I guess that's it. It'll be a quick one. Shall we do the belly yep. shot? Okay. Week 24. This, this belly is getting huge. <laughs> Off the belly button. Okay. I don't know if you want to see the belly button, but it's kind of <laughs> getting a little different. All right, so that's the belly shot. I think that's it. Not yep. much going on this week. It's pretty simple. Everyone's mm -hmm. feeling better. That's the main thing. So. Yep. Feeling better in the nice weather. The weather's great. Yep, as always, if you missed any of our videos, click above Hilda there. It'll be a link to the playlist. And with that, we'll see you next week. Okay, bye. bye.